welcome back to another episode of The Lone Butte. I know that in the previous episode I said, hey, I'm gonna come up with a lot more videos in a shorter amount of time, and I totally didn't. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm resuming my, my video recording uh, schedule, I guess. Uh, hopefully in this session I'm gonna be able to record uh, a couple episodes uh, that I have enough of a buffer to keep releasing them, especially because we're all sort of doing the social distancing and you know trying to stay at home uh, if at all possible. I encourage you to do the same and follow all the guidelines if you know what's you know what's happening. So I, I don't really want to add more to to an already crazy period of our lives, but. Um, uh, yeah, and we, we, we have a lot of work to do here, and uh, the reason why I'm following this tiny little truck is because right at the end of the last episode, uh, the roads kind of got upgraded in this town, which is kind of interesting. So now we have uh, fancy roads just in this town. I don't know if the other towns, I don't think the other towns uh, got upgraded, but I think this town in particular, because we're delivering uh, bread and stuff. Here, let me exit this mode so you can see what, what I'm talking about. Uh, Wish Falls is growing fast, and uh, it's most likely because we're delivering uh, bread. So, uh, yeah, we definitely need to improve on that. But in this episode, what I want to do is add a lot more uh, stress into this passenger line that we have between Ann Arbor uh, and uh, Peoria here through Wichita Falls, because right now we have this single track and uh, we have tr three trains running. Here, let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. So this is the line that I'm that I'm uh, referring to. This orange line. Uh, there's uh, a very long stretch of line where trains kind of have to sit at each end, waiting for a clear path on this block. And this this is happening as well in here. But what I want to do in this episode is finally connect it to Simi Valley. So we're gonna have a very long passenger service connecting all of our four towns in this map. And uh, Obviously, we're gonna be adding a lot of trains to this. So that means that I'm gonna to have to double track this whole place, uh, sorry, this whole route. And it's gonna be great. So let's uh, let's get started right away because I've been talking a lot. First thing that I wanna do is add another platform here. Uh, all the other stations have two platforms. This one is uh, gonna have two platforms starting now. So actually first I'm gonna add a track with no, no canaries. And uh, we're gonna do this as well here. Now, one thing that I don't know is if we absolutely need this uh, underpass connection. I think we do. Like if we do this, it looks like it's needed so that it creates a path, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, just for the sake of aesthetics, I'm gonna add it. Uh, you can let me know down in the comments how necessary this is, but I think it is, so. Uh, next thing that we need to do is pretty straightforward. Just click and drag and basically up to here because we're gonna have to do some some work uh, trying to reconnect this this part of the network. Uh, so interestingly enough, we have this uh, train waiting here. So why don't we basically add the right signals so that that train can just come into here and stop and uh, this train has a free path on the other lane to exit. So uh, we're gonna, actually before we add the semaphores, let's just uh, create a little track switch. There we go. It's only gonna be temporary. Eventually we're gonna get rid of it. Also, we don't want the canaries. So um, what was the upgrade tool? I think it's this one, right? Yeah, we're gonna need to get rid of all of these canaries. Again, these are for aesthetics. I could easily pay for them, but we're not gonna be running electric trains anytime soon. We're gonna stick to diesel and steam for a while. So yeah, that's no, no, not, not really needed. Uh, let's put down this one over here. So that train should have a clear path going that way. This one should temporarily be able to switch to this track. So we can now uh, let's see, if we start the simulation, will that train go? Yes, it will. Fan freaking tastic. But we're not gonna let it go too far. We're gonna pause the game right here and we're gonna get rid of all of this. Uh, I would say yeah, right up to there. We're gonna grab the tracks. By the way, the game got updated between the last episode and, the, and this one and uh, there's some interesting things that uh, were updated, particularly 
the fact that you can now build straight routes. Uh, so we're going to be playing with that uh, very soon. In the meantime, let's just uh, make this connection. And that looks pretty smooth and everything is uh, looking nice. I wouldn't expect it any other way. So now we have this super long uh, block here. Let's just add a couple signals every once in a while, perhaps, I don't know, this much. Again, we're gonna maybe triple the number of trains that we're running here. And again, this may be overkill, but I mean, why not? Why not add signals? Uh, we can start the trains now. Um, I mean, we have unlimited money, so there's really no point in not adding enough of these signals. There we go, that looks pretty nice. Uh, I guess we could have added another set of signals in here. Just for symmetry at this point. There we go, that's probably enough. There could even be another Blocking. Ah, uh, it's okay. We're not gonna bother that with that. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. Off camera, I'm gonna make a quick cut here, and I'm gonna do literally the same on this track right here. So that way, it's not a super long episode where only a fraction of things get built. I really want you to get a lot of content out of this one as a token of my appreciation for your viewership. All right, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. All right. Now that you're gonna say that this is a bit overkill, but. Uh it's cool. We have a ton of signals, so a lot of uh, blocks where trains can uh, take their own time, you know, to, I guess, circulate across this super long stretch of uh, track. I have to yet uh, connect it to this. So similarly to what we did on the other side of the map, um, let's just uh, perhaps do this. Uh, we can potentially bring this set of tracks up to this point. And now up to here, that actually doesn't look super hot. So let's uh, let's see if we can make it better. Perhaps by doing it like this. There we go. That's that's a nicer curve. So in here, we obviously have a switch. So that's uh, necessary. I think we need to add a couple more signals. Uh, perhaps going this way and this way and this way and this way. And just one more there for good measure. There we go. All right, so we have a pretty cohesive uh, set of signals. Let me make sure that the yeah the line is working fine. We have a switch there. That's great. Um, trains are using only one of these. Uh, hang on one second. Why are you not using the other one to return? That's a problem. Uh, is it just a matter of uh, this being not updated fast enough? Hmm, now I'm confused. This should not be like this. Uh, also, one thing that I just realized is that we perhaps need to move the cargo track to its own dedicated track. So let's maybe do that. That way we can free up this second platform so that this train can actually go pick up passengers. So there's no point in this train just sitting there and waiting. So uh, let's go for tracks and uh, we're going to offset it just a bit and uh, if you go to platforms, click on that, there we go. So now we have an offset sort of platform here for cargo trains and uh, we can exit this mode, go into tracks and this is where the cargo trains usually sit so we can get rid of this. I think, yeah, there we go. And just straight up go like this. Yeah, we can do something like this and right about here in the curve. We connect it there and uh, we're gonna need an extra connection pretty much all the way up to here. There we go, that's pretty smooth. Uh, that means that we need a uh, signal entering this block, and we're also gonna need another signal here. And everything else should be covered. So this line, 
And let's see, how do I edit this line? There we go. So it's on two and four. Actually, let's go to here. Let's move this one to platform number two. There we go. And this one, it's uh, going to be moved to, can I not be moved? Oh, hmm. That's kind of a problem. Uh, this should have been a passenger thing. Okay, so let's configure this again. Actually, let's get rid of this temporarily. And I'll maybe pause the game too, because uh, I'm gonna be causing a lot of mayhem here. Uh, we're gonna need to get rid of this, guys. So that's good. We're gonna need to add a passenger platform on this side as well. Uh, just like we did before, have the underground connection right there and have some roofing over here. That looks about right. Eventually we're gonna be refactoring this uh, even further, but for now, I think that works. Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of this track for the time being. And um, now what I don't know is if, if I can just have the cargo platforms immediately next to the passenger platform. Is that a thing that I can do? So if I do this, yeah, let's, let's try to do this instead. Let's have the four tiles there, put the cargo platform on the other side. And I think that should hopefully take care of things. And now we need to just connect that. And we're gonna need a cargo building, which uh, it's now going to collide with our station, unfortunately, but it, it, it is connected, I think. Should be connected enough. Let's just play with that. It's not amazing, but we can rework this in just a sec. Just wanna make sure that everything works and uh, I wanna free the trains so that they can run while we improve things. Um, this we can get rid of. We can now go into tracks and uh, have it connected this way. And let's see if we can now still have this work the way we want it. And this could now happen on line two. Okay. So what we want instead is this and uh, this. There we go. Now we're talking. Now the thing that I don't understand is why this track isn't being used. There must be some kind of reversed signal somewhere. And I think the problem starts here. And I mean, there there is a track that can go this way. Why are you not going the right way is what I would like to know. So this is a one-way track. This is very odd. Give me a second to, to figure this out and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. It literally took, took me two seconds to figure out that the track is not fully connected. So let's fix that. Let's fix that real quick. There we go. Now this should work. Now we're talking. Fan freaking tastic. So we can now start the simulation again. Hopefully things will happen uh, where they should be. Let's wait for this cargo train to sort of come here. Actually, we can speed that up by making a turn. Uh, simulation is going super fast, so things should look, uh, yeah, things should look good for the most part. So this train is going to come through here, make a switch here, then turn around and resume the, you know, their route. Eventually we might have to like do like a little tunnel underground and have it connect on the other side. That way we don't block this. I feel like this is gonna become a choke point as we feed more trains. I don't know if actually if it's gonna get that, you know, that crazy with traffic. Here it comes. It's a very nice thing to see. And uh, it's loading and yeah, all this supply chain is, uh, it's happening. Fantastic, all right. So, as promised, let's continue expanding our network and have a connection to Simi Valley, which is also gonna have a bit of a terminal station. Now, the question is where? Where do we want this terminal station? I think what I want is take advantage of this road, uh, perhaps set it to a four-lane road. 
that I wish would have snapping points like it used to but it doesn't seem like it will so I'm just gonna eyeball it uh, and uh, we also probably need to do some uh, terraforming with the flatten tool so actually brush size let's make it let's make it big just flatten this whole area out so that uh, we have a clean slate uh, something is completing uh, why are you complaining? Oh, there's like two trains kind of stuck with one another. Uh, let's quickly fix this. I think it's because of something like that, perhaps. Um, can you go to the depot? You can't go to the depot. Uh, now, I want you to go to your station, not really to the depot. Set line. Just go on this line. There we go. All right. Hopefully, that's not going to become a problem. All right. So, this train is now just sitting there and waiting. All right. That that looks good. No warnings. Everyone's happy. Uh, let's go back to Simi Valley right here. So, we're going to go build a station. It's going to be... I was going to say a terminal station, but I, I guess we can have it like loading from the side this should accommodate the industry area that we have here uh, not so much the passenger unfortunately so we're gonna have to have some kind of shuttle service which i'm not opposed to having um but i am going to perhaps move this slightly away from the road because i want to upgrade the building pretty much immediately so configure let's get rid of this passenger buildings and have the big boy one and you can see that it's not enough room so let's just uh, get rid of the whole station firm destruction and uh, it will kind of have to be right about there perhaps so let's see if we can now that's a bug by the way like it should should have given me the menu and it didn't so yeah uh, we can have this be on the corner it doesn't have to be symmetric I know like in your mind it has to be, but it, it's fine. We can also have like a side connection here with a bus stop. Actually, let's do that just real quick. So we can have a one-way road like this. No, actually, I think we need to put this. Um, yeah, we can do that actually, hang on. We don't need to put the, the bus terminal. Uh, we can simply do something like this and put like bus stops along the line. I think that could work, uh, except I want the road to perhaps be this way instead. And also we can move this building over here just for a good measure. So let's let's try this. I've, I've never done this design in this game, so we'll see what happens. Uh, also, this is not the right way of doing it, but <laughs> do not mind that. Um, this it's probably going to be like a major throwaway, so let's uh, upgrade it as such. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. There we go. Also has tram tracks, which we can get rid of. Or maybe use them, actually. I don't know if we actually have trams yet um, available in the game, but we'll see. This is going to be connected over there. Great. Uh, it's kind of uh, funky looking, I think. Yeah, it's like slightly at an angle. Let's see if we can fix it real quick. So I wish that the game would like snap. I guess it kind of is snapping it into place. There we go. That's slightly better. I don't think it's amazing, but slightly better. And the same is true with this one. Let's just really quickly... God dang it, you have to pause the game. The game really dislikes it when you delete a road. So I want to bring this like right up to the intersection. Actually, you know what? I can just get rid of that, fix the road, and then have the connecting point. So from here, we can go straight. And I wonder if this is enough. It is. Great. So, um, 
so that looks good. Uh, I guess we'll take care of the bus system eventually. Right now, I just wanted to sort of lay things down. I'm more interested in connecting the train tracks, to be honest. So, um, yeah, let's just go crazy. There's a bit of a uh, gap there, which makes sense because that's where this valley thing is. Now uh, we use the brush to make it all, you know, be flat and nice. Uh, here we're gonna have to remove that road, or we can just straight up start curving, which is also a good idea. Actually, before we do that, it might be easier on this side to continue the train tracks over here. Basically what I'm thinking of doing is going around and then have a bridge that sort of, you know, comes around. Um, in order to do that, I think, uh, like this is basically what I have in mind, uh, except I want to perhaps do something, something like that. Is this really the only height that you allow? Hmm. It's kind of steep. I mean, I mean, it's not so much steep, but height is not great. So perhaps if we go by about this much, we can just simply use the flatten tool to basically flatten this whole thing out and perhaps even smooth it just a tad further. Yeah, that looks good. Pretty smooth that uh, curve over there. So uh, let's just continue with this curve right up to there, I would say. It's not gonna be the fastest curve, but it's fine. Um, and I think the angle of attack that I want, actually it could be straight, because it, it will be a shorter path than if I do it at an angle. Like it would make more sense for engineers to build the shortest path possible. Uh, honestly, w that would have been using the same bridge, but it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Um, what I am going to do though is create a, a little island in the middle, just like we did before. Uh, hopefully that will start showing up. Like what if I do this? There we go. Now we have an island showing up. Let's see if we can get something that looks a little nicer. It's so deep that it's just like, I'm just spending $8 million on terraforming. Uh, let me let me work on this for, for a bit off camera and I'll, I'll be right back. All right, so here's the island. Let's just uh, try to make it a bit pretty. Just uh, keeping uh, these brushes at different sizes and just combining the different textures. That's one of the things I really like about this game. It's the fact that you can just do this. Uh, this is probably not the right texture though. Um, where are the grasses? Yeah, this is what I wanted. Like in the middle of the island, I definitely want some grass and I want to have like patches of things. Um, maybe strength shouldn't be all the way super high. There we go. That makes it a bit more sparse and realistic looking. It's all going to come down to... how you combine all these textures together. That's the tricky part. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this though. I just want to make a nice little bridge, you know, that can can go on this island, just look a little bit nicer. Uh, eventually, we're definitely going to be adding a lot more things like trees and stuff. Um, I thought there was a brush. No, this is a racer tool. Uh, yeah, brush size, yeah. Definitely a lot of these uh, clusters of uh, bushes really help quite a bit. There we go, that's a nice looking island. My, my, might have been a little bit crazy on some sides, but at least it looks realistic and it kind of matches the, the styling that we have. Uh, we can also add some rocks later, but for now, I think this works. Let's try to get a bridge in here. Uh, I've been getting some tips on how to do this from uh, you the viewers, um, how do I, yeah, this is what I want. So basically, instead of doing this, what I need to be doing is 
Well, actually, hang on. I want a straight line here. This is still kind of coming up, which is not what we want, but also not so far down. I think there's like a way of like making it at a different height, but um, uh, hang on. If we go one level up here, I think what we can do is commit this bridge, get rid of uh, everything, for example, this, and this is now the new height that I want to target, I think. So we can just simply do... Go flat. Oh, wait. One of them, one of these is like, just stay flat. Is that it? I think that's it. So that's the bridge that I want. Right up until this point. In fact. So let's commit to that. Um, let's get rid of this. And I think that should give us a pretty decent bridge that is mostly flat. It doesn't look super flat to me. I know there's a way of doing this better, but uh, I also don't want to spend a ton of time trying to get it perfect right now because I, I think we're going to be tweaking these things as time goes by. Similar to what we did with the previous bridge, uh, there's really no point in just going crazy with it. Uh, let's just uh, do that instead. That actually looks great. I'm not going to touch it anymore. Um, so let's get the other inner set of tracks right up until that point. We're going to connect it all the way to here. It's crazy how much the frame rate tanks when you're like dragging the um, tracks and things like that. Let's take a quick look here. Yeah, so there's a bit of a slope coming down there, which is fine, I guess. It looks mostly flat. And again, we're going to be tinkering with that uh, a whole lot more in uh, future episodes. So now, I think we can just uh, do something like this. Um, perhaps less at an angle, kind of like that. Try to go in like small increments, that way we don't get a crazy amount of terraforming. Perhaps, yeah, there we go. That's the snapping point. So, you know, there's like a little bit of terraforming here happening, but we're going to smooth that out. So it's just going to look like it was meant to be. That's a snapping point. Uh, and this is pretty much it, right? That's... A funky curve um we might have to go a little bit more on the straight side of things and then curve i think i went a bit too far is this the right one yeah that's the that's the inner one okay so now we definitely need to fix this Kind of a problem all the time, you know, confusing the inner track and the outer track. Or the, you know, the incoming track or the outgoing track, depending on your views on the world. Um, I guess inner and outer changes based on which part of the track it is at any given moment, but yeah. So that was indeed the outer track. Great. In this case, it's the outer track. I, hopefully I'm making some sense. And if not, you know, by now you should have realized what you were, you know, what kind of YouTube channel this was. Uh, okay, so let's just add the extra track in here. And uh, let's add a passenger platform. I kind of want to move these buildings, perhaps. Uh, collision, dang it. Okay, um, yeah, I guess we'll have to keep the tiny building. We could make this a giant giant station, perhaps even go as far as get rid of this, and perhaps we can now fit this. No, collision, but we can fit that. 
and the same here, and the same here. So now it's like big boy station all the way to the thin, tiny station, and we have multiple entrances, so we can have multiple bus stops, so we can start serving Simi Valley, which is gonna be great. So before we do any of that, let's just connect this train track over here. Let's have our switch. Uh, I guess we can just do it right before the track. And this is the platform that they're going to be using, unfortunately. I wish that we could just, you know, if there's a train kind of waiting here, I wish that it it would be smart enough to use the second one. I don't know if that's achievable with this game. Uh, do let me know in the comments if that's the case. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that is the case. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add all the signals off camera, and I will be right back. All right, so this is uh, all the signals added and um, two things that need to happen next. So first of all, uh, edit the line so that we add the additional stations. Uh, I think we started in uh, Anna Arbor. So we need to basically go here. And uh, I think uh, I don't wanna click stations to add. I don't wanna move these. Can I move this and how do you reorder these things? I don't want this to be four, I guess. Could I drag it? No, I cannot drag it. Okay. So. Simi Valley, yeah. It's kind of hard to, <laughs> to do. Hmm. You know what? Might as well just start from scratch. <laughs> so let's. Let's create a brand new line here. Uh, so you're gonna start from here. You're gonna go to here. You're gonna go to here. Then to Peoria. Then back to Wichita uh, Falls Transfer, which we should probably change names. There we go, that's, that's it. And I think the game's smart enough to allocate the right platforms for coming and going. Uh, Wichita Falls Transfer, let's change this to Wichita Falls, because There we go. And the same is true for An Arbor. I think Peoria is Peoria and uh, Simi Valley Halt is now Simi Valley. Fan freaking tastic. All right, so we have the line. The other thing that I was thinking we should probably do is add some depots at least along this lines. Uh, yeah, these trains are no longer uh, connected to the thing? Let's see. No, they seem to be. Maybe because I haven't started the simulation? Let's let's see what happens. Come on. Uh, perhaps go the other way. And uh, you go the other way. Will that work? Also, I just realized that uh, the line doesn't quite use the double tracks here. Uh, probably because I missed a connection at some point. Uh, so, an arbor should use platform two, and on the way back, should use platform one. Okay, so now it's using the double tracks. I think that confused the trains for a little bit. Hopefully, that's no longer the case. Yeah, there we go. No more warnings. Uh, but we do need a depot somewhere here. So let's uh, just quickly go ahead and set up a depot. Perhaps coming uh, out of here. This is, again, kind of temporary. Just want to get trains rolling. Uh, let's rotate it enough so that there's this nupping point. Fantastic. New vehicle available. Uh, let's see how good that vehicle is once we are done here. So let's extend this bit of track here and then just do that and uh, perhaps that actually we don't want this here just want this block to be like that um, so vehicle manager actually before we do that let's try to create a new train so we were using uh, which one is the new one? Huh. 
Uh, belt date, uh, 1902. And then, I think, yeah, 26. This is the one. So this one, compared to the one we're using, which is this one, I'm pretty sure, it's 80 kilometers. Yeah, this is uh, a nicer a nicer train. So why don't we go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Uh, what I don't know is if you can just straight up upgrade all of these. Send vehicle to depot, clone selected vehicles, edit selected vehicles. Maybe we can? I don't even know what this is doing. I guess that did it, modify, there we go, all right. So no depot required, is that true? Let's take a closer look, is this the actual locomotive? Yeah, it updated it, I'm pretty sure. Because it's doing 100 kilometers an hour, the other one was 80, so that's good. Um, I think we need to triple the number of trains on this line, so let's go ahead and quickly do that. So we're gonna do that. Sell, uh, I know, yeah, clone. So clone once and clone twice. Now, where is it cloning them from? I think it's the original depot that we have, probably this one right here, which is gonna be causing some uh, mayhem. There we go. It should be fine though. Famous last words. Uh, but we'll see. This train is waiting here for loading, uh, sorry, unloading grain. So all these trains are kind of exiting out of this uh, line. It's It's fine. You're gonna get your spot soon enough, buddy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. It's just like they're waiting. Um, yeah, and we cloned a lot of trains too. So maybe, can I click on this depot? Am I in it? Yeah, I'm in the depot. All right, it's just a matter of, it's just a matter of time, man. You're gonna be able to to unload soon enough. All right, here he comes. Fantastic. There's so much bread waiting there, and uh, this is our food train coming in for uh, you know to pick up all that bread. Let's see. Will it, will it be a full load? It's not. Okay. Uh, we definitely need to start pumping more and more um, food, uh, or particularly grain, into the station so that this can improve the operations. Because we have a couple farms there. I was also thinking of maybe using this. Uh, food processing plant to also generate some uh, bread and straight up bring the bread into this station or I don't know Just deliver it straight to wish to falls not entirely sure how I'm gonna do this But we have two farms there that can fit into this. There's so many things that we are going to need to do in this um, In this project, but I'm happy that uh, yeah, this line now has a ton of trains running and uh, yeah, we're moving a lot of passengers. So I'm, I think I'm gonna put an end to this episode right here. In the next episode, we're probably going to work definitely on cargo, uh, perhaps uh, improve this uh, connection a little bit with a bus shuttle. We have kind of half the infrastructure already done, but I think that's, that's gonna have to take place sooner rather than later. And then we can perhaps move into uh, moving more cargo because that's really what's going to make the um, these cities grow much much bigger which is I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what you want to see from, from this game but uh, in any case if you enjoyed this episode please consider giving this video a like and if you're new to the channel and haven't already uh, if you subscribe then you get notified when I go live when I go live when I <laughs> post a video uh, so uh, that's uh, very much uh, something that I encourage you to do but that's pretty much all I have for you today thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in uh, the next one